I will briefly describe this interactive simulation in which we're plotting molar flow rates on the y-axis versus the cumulative volume of a plug flow reactor. This is isothermal reaction A plus 2B goes to C. It's a constant density system, so it's not a gas phase reaction. And the simulation uh, website is indicated here. What we're able to change is the mole fraction of A in the feed, so it can be stoichiometric or it can be non-stoichiometric, the rate constant for the reaction, and then the reaction order of B. So, so these first two are sliders. The last one is, is just either at 0, 1, or 2, so it doesn't slide but can be moved. Now when we change the order of reaction, we don't change the numerical value of the rate constant. We change its units. So we have to be a little careful if we're comparing for the different orders. And we see, of course, the A and B mole fractions decrease. B decreases faster because two moles of B react with one mole of A. And so now let's look at the interactive simulation, observe the behavior as we change these parameters with sliders. So here's the interactive simulation. And you can see if I increase the mole fraction of A, we'll use up much of the B without reacting a large fraction of the A. And then we can also go the other way, the rate constant. So the rate constant increases means we, of course, deplete A and B sooner in the reactor. Let's go back to this value. Now, if I make the reaction zero order, you notice we can get to a molar flow rate of B being zero when we have a, an essentially an excess of A compared to stoichiometric. Now, this is not realistic in the sense for a real reaction at zero order. As we get to low concentrations, in this case of B, the reaction will no longer stay zero order. But in the simulation, we're allowing it to go to complete reaction of B. And then if I go to second order, as the concentration of B decreases, then the rate decreases faster because it's second order in B, and so we don't have as big a drop in the molar flow rates through the reactor.